And just like that, folks, Chapter 5, Season 2 is finally here. What is going on, YouTube and the great people of the internet? It is your boy, ThunderBuddy29 here, back today with another video. And today, I am going to be giving my official review on Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, as it had finally came out recently. But before I get right into that, first of all, I just want to thank you all for the massive love and support you've been giving me on my previous three videos. And once again, thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. And second of all, I hope you enjoy these types of videos. And if you do enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share this with your friends, and hit that bell so you will never miss another video. And of course, join the channel today for as low as $2 a month. We would love to have you here on the channel. So join today. Link in the description below. But anyways, we got a lot to get into in this video. So without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Alright folks, so if you've been subscribed to my channel, you pretty much know how this works. But to those who aren't, first things first, I'm going to react to the opening trailer and then talk about the battle pass and then talk about the season itself. So anyways, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Where the hell is this? Shrek Swamp? I'm assuming this is one of the new map locations. Now, I definitely have to say it looks interesting so far. And I'm assuming that this is the battle pass as well. And I also see the suppressed pistol, which is honestly a sign that we could be seeing some more OG guns return this season. Damn, we're even being given a battle pass tour. This is probably the first time in a long time that they actually presented their battle pass like this. Oh, So now you can use wings to fly, and now you can crash on top of people. I swear, this is like the planes 2.0. And that to me is already a big red flag. So now there's a mythic where you can hook people and kill them. Now I'm starting to worry about this season. Who the hell is this supposed to be? Doc Ock's new wife? Honest to God, it looks like that girl from Monsters, Inc. if she was a human. Now you can slide push people? Interesting. Wait, hold on a second. Time out. Is this a collab skin? Give me just one second. A few moments later. So after about one minute of research, I can confirm that this is in fact a collab skin from The Legend of Korra. Of course, Fortnite can't go one season without including a collab skin in the battle pass. The same tradition it's been for the past four years. <laughs> Out of all the mythics I've seen in this trailer, this is the one that really concerns me the most. Honestly, I am still kind of speechless right now. Not because of excitement, but because of concern. Based on the mythics I saw in the trailer. Now, before I get right into that, let's first talk about the Battle Pass. Now, this Battle Pass, I actually think is an improvement compared to last season. Well, at least on the most part. And the reason why, it's because they're at least using their own creativity and not 100% relying on collab skins to carry their Battle Pass. Because like what I said before, the reason why most people bought the last Battle Pass was mainly because of the Peter Griffin skin. And that was pretty much it. 
I don't think we're going to see that same kind of hype with Korra. In fact, you had about half of the Fortnite community question why Korra was picked to be the collapsed skin of the Battle Pass. Because the theme of the season is supposed to be about ancient Greek mythology, and in my opinion, Korra really does not fit in that well with the theme of the season. If they were going to do a collab skin, they should have did one for something that at least fits the theme of the season. But other than that, I still think this battle pass is still somewhat of an improvement compared to the last one. Because on the most part, they're at least using their own creativity. The battle pass is just one of few things that they did improve on compared to last season. But the real question is, what else did they improve on? And what do I think of the season overall? Well, we're about to find out right now. Or maybe not, this will just have to wait till tomorrow. The next day. After a very rough first 19 hours into the season, we are now finally able to play it, and I can finally give my thoughts of what I think of it. Starting this off, I think the first thing we should talk about is of course the bots and AIs. Now in my opinion, I think this is something that they did improve on. If anything, like these boss fights that you see in this season, they're actually fun. And sometimes you're even fighting them in waves too. But there's one thing about the AI bosses this season that I find pretty embarrassing. Despite having to fight them in waves, these AI bosses are easier to fight than the ones from last season. And these boss fights are way more fun than the ones from last season too. So that's one thing that they did improve on. And the second thing we are going to talk about is of course the map. Now in my opinion, this is another thing that they did improve on as well. Going into this season, I was expecting maybe very small minimal map changes, but however, I turned out being wrong. They didn't just change one section of the map, they changed two sections of the map. I mean, we went from that to this. And that is honestly a pretty big improvement, and honestly, I think this map is better compared to the one from last season. I know it's kind of unfair, because last season was the beginning of a new chapter, but the more I thought about it... Half of the map locations from last season just felt the same. Like from the layouts and textures of half the locations just felt the same. And I think this was a map change that we really, really needed. And the new map locations are kind of cool, but it would be even better if they weren't such sweat shows right now. But I know that's going to change as the season goes on. And the third thing to talk about is, of course, the loot pull. Now, this is something I am very critically mixed about when it comes to the season. Like, I'm very excited that they're going to bring back some OG guns later on in the season. Like, you're going to have the Deagle return, the Suppressed Pistol return, and maybe even a bit more. But, we'll just have to wait and see what happens from here on out. But, let's talk about the general loot pool. So, the SMGs are still hit or miss. It really has not changed much since last season. And, of course, you have the same old Sniper, which a lot of people think are overpowered, but I think it's okay. The only problem I have with it is it's still insanely realistic. Now the shotguns too really have not changed that much. You still have the hammer pump and the frenzy shotgun with an additional new three shot shotgun, which I think it's a decent shotgun, but it would be a lot more useful if you did not have the frenzy shotgun still in the game. And that shotgun is so fucking overpowered. I wish they would have took it out this season, but unfortunately they didn't. And now the ARs, surprisingly, are hit or miss as well. There's only two of them I really have a problem with. The new DMR they put into the season is completely ass. It fires so slow. And then you have the new Warforged AR. Now, I think this is an okay AR. It really just depends on what situation you're in. But the biggest issue I have with it is that it has so much fucking recoil. It has almost the same amount of recoil as the Flapjack Rifle from Chapter 4 Season 3. And I know you're going to have some of those people in the comments section that are going to say, Oh, but why don't you put some attachments on it? Well, speaking of attachments, it was one of the biggest things I've criticized the most about Chapter 5. But the thing about this season that's different compared to last season is that it's more harder to put attachments on your guns this season compared to last season. Because last season, you had vaults all over the map where you had gun customized stations where you can put whatever attachments you want on your guns. But in this season, you only have one of those at a random location. So pretty much whatever gun you pick up in the map, whether if it has attachments or not, you're pretty much forced to deal with it. And the fourth thing that we're going to talk about is of course the new mythics. Now these mythics are so fucking overpowered, especially the Zeus mythic. Like when I first saw these mythics in the trailer, 
I was very concerned from the start. And especially that Zeus mythic, I turned out being right, and that is extremely overpowered as shit. The other ones don't really bother me as much compared to the Zeus mythic, but another mythic that really bothers me the most is, of course, the wings. Well, other than the fact that you can just fly around the map, you can also crash on top of people. Now, this was very overpowered on day one, but thankfully they did nerf it. But the only thing that's really annoying about them today is the people who start fights and then just turn tail and run and fly away with them. In a way, this kind of reminds me of Chapter 3 back when they had the Spider-Man's web shooters because that was the same thing that would always occur. People who'd start fights and then fly away like cowards. Now, don't get me wrong. This is still an item that's very fun to use, but I think the real big problem that I have with it is that there's too many of them scattered across the map. I think there needs to be a limited quantity of how many wings can be in the map while a game is being played. They should have at least like 7 or 10 of them scattered across the map instead of like 60 of them that you have now. And the fifth and final thing we're going to talk about, well just a tiny bit, is the disastrous launch. Now this was probably the only thing that was really really bad about the season so far other than the mythics and half of the loot pool. But I already made two separate videos talking about that so you can check those out if you want to. It kind of explains it better. But overall, my final thoughts and conclusion, so far, I actually think this season is both good and bad. Other than the overpower mythics, the disastrous launch, and half the loot pull, I still think this season is quite good. The battle pass somewhat improved, the map improved, the new locations are good, and the boss fights are fun, and they're more easier to fight compared to the bosses from last season. So far, I think the season is quite decent. I just hope that they do not somehow screw this up, but knowing them, that's a possibility. And they still got room to grow. If they don't drop the ball, if they add in some good updates and give us some good content during the season, maybe this season will be remembered for more than just having the disastrous launch. And maybe that disastrous launch can be forgiven, but it mainly just depends how the rest of the season goes. But we will find out soon enough. But that's all I got for today's video, and what do you guys think of the season so far? Are you enjoying it? Are you hating it? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed or agree with this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share us with your friends, and hit that bell for notifications so you will never miss another video. Follow me on Twitter slash X. I apologize for this video being delayed, but I love you guys. I appreciate all the support you've been giving me. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is ThunderBuddy29, signing off.